Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Macedon. We are churning our way through. We're going to be trying to liberate Praslav right here, and then we're going to move down into Amanatori, maybe take two to three cities off her and see how things go. So that's kind of like what the objective is for this episode. We're kind of also trying to build and move more units in, particularly crossbowmen. Crossbowmen tend to be very, very good at killing units. The actual killing of cities isn't really the difficult part, which is why I'm putting maybe more emphasis on crossbowmen. We're also, oddly enough, we're also going to be trying to get a religion here, which is a little bit confusing because we have made no attempt to actually get a religion. It just so happened that we conquered some holy sites. So that's a fun thing that we've been doing. Now, I want to upgrade this unit, so I'm going to move you here. I'm going to upgrade you into a knight. Also, my gold reserves are starting to come down. So possibly after this crossbowman, I'm going to move back in and grab my cash flow buildings in the form of the commercial hub. So that's sort of like the general sort of state of the game and where we're at and what we're working on. Uh, hopefully that'll help you guys keep track of things if it's been a day or two since you've watched. So we've got some nighter, we have the armory, and uh, the armory is going to be a good one to pick up as well. The Angkor Wat is an option, not one that we're going to be taking, however. Now, I would love to build the armory. However, I think I really do need to get this online, and I also I would love to get an industrial zone. Uh, although I'm probably going to grab a scientist instead, like I'm going to grab a campus. I'm just going to place it right there. Just so it's all in position and ready to go, let's grab the commercial hub. The commercial hub will provide us with the gold that we need to continue pushing forward. Uh, in particular, because we also have Lisbon on our side, which is really, really nice. In fact, I would even consider going up to full uh, bonuses with Lisbon here if I could. Now, uh, we just picked up military engineering. So we're probably going to want to pick up musketmen. Out of curiosity, did I manage to hit Niter? in any of my lands. I was unfortunate. There is Niter over here. Damn it. Uh, am, I, am I gonna be conquering any Niter? Okay, so we're not gonna go for uh, Musketman here because it'd be not so useless. Oh, well, I mean, the Bombard is still quite good. Damn. Um, damn it. We're gonna be relying on Knights here for a while to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Knights and Crossbowmen. We're going to need to figure out how to get a copy of Niter. It's probably going to involve settling. Settling for it. So I actually may prioritize a settler in my capital. I didn't really build many settlers. So settling for resources at this stage of the game is actually quite cheap for me in terms of production time. Which I'm not too worried about. Yeah, I think I will go for gunpowder here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... I'm going to build the... I'm going to go... I'm not going to go gunpowder straight away. I'm going to go settler. Commercial hub like armory or something. But I may come back here and maybe pick up some of these other guys, like Astrology uh, and Celestial Navigation are definitely two I want to pick up because those are extra district options. Then are there any particularly important ones? Universities could be quite useful. Uh, being able to embark could be quite useful. But for now, yeah, I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of backfilling and see if we can make things work a little bit better. So how close are we? Okay, we're definitely, I feel like we're guaranteed a religion at this point. Even if, it is, even if it is just like the Crusader religion. Which is still amazing if we can get the Crusader religion. Now. You need a builder. So get yourself a builder. You're working unimproved tiles. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm going to move you. I'm going to delink you. Move you down a tile so you can shoot there. You're going to fortify. You're going to come back to here to heal. You're going to shoot this city. You're going to kill here. That'll get you a promotion. And you will also shoot this city. So I'm kind of just training my units on this city right now to get lots of experience. And partially it's also I just don't have the actual things I need to uh, properly take the city on. Just kind of waiting for um, things. I'm going to move you over here because it's a little bit safer. We can start moving this crossbowman up as well to provide combat assistance. You're going to be used to help this. You're going to be used to escort the builder, I think. This knight right here. One of my knights should be fully healed and we'll be able to rejoin the fight here in a moment. Now, the city is still healing, which is unfortunate because I don't have a full um, surround on it. You're going to take these shells. That'll give you more damage against the district. You're going to shoot here. You're going to move into the city. You're going to pick up the Amphibious promotion. That'll allow you to uh, do some good things. Of 
across the river, you go there. You hold for a turn. Spearman over here. See if we can't block him from getting into the city. Bring this knight over as well. You take a hit. That's okay. There's a giant's causeway. Neat. I actually, I think... Was that Lisbon? Lisbon is exploring for me. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we got the Basilico Paid. Again, I need gold. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that section of the tree. Now I need to kind of hammer away at this city a little bit. So we'll kind of just like pop it off and then we'll pop bump. There we go. Knowledge of shipbuilding is advanced. Knowledge of naval tradition is advanced. And we will liberate Preslav. And that'll mean Pre I'm the Susman of Preslav and my light and heavy cavalry units have plus five combat threat when fighting on the hills. But more importantly, we get the plus two production in every encampment district when we are producing units, which is going to be very useful for making builders, all that sort of stuff. Because yes, that does actually apply to builders. And also importantly, we got the full heal on all our units from capturing the city. So now we need to get a bit of more information around what's going on down in Nubia land. Interestingly. Ah, huh, interestingly that that wonder is in Preslav. Petra is in Preslav. How very odd. I don't think I've ever seen the city-state with a wonder before, but there it is, guys. I don't know if you saw it here first, but you saw it here. We're actually, oddly enough, we're picking up some tourism from Stonehenge and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Uh, this is the Great Lighthouse, and uh, traders can embark on harvesting of fish. So we just wanted to pick this up to be able to, uh, to, be able to build harbors should we need to. Uh, let's go ahead and now we'll grab gunpowder. And the timing on this armory should sync up pretty well. Not perfectly. Well, I suppose we could, in theory, do a two-turn technology like uh, mathematics, maybe. And then pick up gunpowder, and that'll sync up a little bit better. Okay, water mill. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to put an industrial zone over here. But I want you to get your market again. I want to get my gold up if I can. You finished the crossbowman. Let's go ahead again. I want to get the. I would like to get my commercial hub up. And I think I may actually do that again because I, I just I need the money. I'm kind of I'm my money is not running out, but I'm just a little bit lower than where I'd like to be. And this city is going to be primarily a, a cash generation city, I believe. Yeah, that's kind of like the goal here. So I'm going to go for the uh, the harbor, I think. Seems like a reasonable move to push the cash flow as high as possible. We can start moving some units forward here. Okay, there's Sedanga. Now these are going to be these are going to be relatively tough cities to take, um, just in a sort of a general sense of, you know, they have a lot of combat strength. There's a lot of the cities. Uh, Amanatori is fairly highly advanced in terms of technology. All that sort of thing. Isidore of Miletus. Isidore of Miletus. Is that the guy who builds walls? No, he builds wonders. Okay. Lisbon has declared war on Alexander. Ah, see, that is annoying. Because Lisbon was mine... And shall be once again in the not too distant future. We're picking up exploration. After exploration, I'm going to go look for some envoys in the tech tree. Go for theology and stuff like that. Um, to pick up a few of these envoys. Do a bit of scouting. So we're definitely going to take Sedanga and Nuri and see what else we can take here.
crossbowmen. Let's get moving. And you guys are linked up. It's going to take a hell of a long time, but we need this nighter. If only I had a, a horseman who could give the movement to the uh, to the unit. You're taking a lot of damage over here, buddy. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Excellent. Okay, we have found the capital in Moreau, so I'm probably going to try and take all four of these cities if I can. You go there. Go there. Get this great general across the way. These... High pacifists are less useful now. They do still act as blocker units, but they're less useful than what they used to be. I don't want to attack the city. Oh, do you know what I forgot to get? Damn it. Can I purchase one? I need to get a siege tower here. You need to just make me a siege tower, because uh, they're going to be super useful for attacking as well. Because they let you attack over walls. Let's trade with... Banza Congo, I think, is a reasonable one. Yeah. Could use a road over there as well, which is quite good. Okay, so I should be able to pillage here for the heal. And then kill this knight. Excellent. Claim a great person. This is a great merchant. Excellent. This will give us another trade route. And trade routes to this city. Hmm. Is this a city I want to trade to? Where can I get the Imbanza Congo? Would be over here in Buhin. And it would be one hell of a great Zimbabwe, actually. Bonus resource, bonus resource. Hmm. Do I go for the Great Zimbabwe synergy or do I just like... I'm just going to take the trade route capacity. Who cares? Uh, speaking of trade route capacity, go ahead and get me a trader then. Go ahead and get these hills online. And we built a builder over here as well. Let's get this repaired. Just because it's pillaging and it's annoying me. Then grab a granary because you're about to be overflowing and pop. So now Lisbon is mine. Back again. That should be a nice boost of cash if I go in here and tap this. 25 gold per turn. Excellent. Alrighty. I wonder what happens if I kill that. It just pushes them back, which is annoying. Because it would be really nice if you could actually kill those. So, I need to keep getting units over here. Keep moving these along. Nice one. Expecting to take a decent amount of damage here. I should be able to heal that up by pillaging. The farm, you have a promotion available, so I'm not too worried about you taking some damage. Oh my god, the barbarians. So let's take the garrison promotion on you. Take this. I want to attack, but I don't want to end up over here because I might be in range of some stuff. I'll attack. Okay, so you should be able to promote and or heal next turn. You go there, you should be able to shoot. Go there, you should be able to shoot, shoot. So we're bringing crossbowmen to the front line. Seems to be all going swimmingly for me. 
Unit needs orders. Hold turn. Fortify there, recover five health. And we'll just kind of tell all these guys to sit around for a turn. Now, builder. Let's see, can I get peace with you guys? So you'll just take white peace. That sounds good. White peace doesn't bother me. How about you? Yeah, you'll also take white peace. And then I'm on a Tory. I'm, I don't want peace with you because we are in a grudge match. Let's see, what taws are you working? You can't grow anymore, so you may as well production focus. Go there. We lack amenities as well. We might want to see if we can do something about that. So I'm being denounced by France once again. That's fine. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. You may denounce me to your heart's content. Then you will pillage. And then back up. That wasn't exactly a backup, but I mean, it was kind of. Okay, there's a Daiga. That'll give you the boost towards guilds. We'll keep this city. Repair all the good stuff. We also got a copy of Niter out of that. Need to keep you active because you're going to be the copy of Niter that I get as well. Two turns until this. All good, all good. Working out nicely. You got your industrial zone. Workshops provide plus one culture. Ooh, that's really nice. We have another great general coming. It's a Renaissance one. I'm excited at that possibility. Do I go for the extra workshop here? I think I go for the granary because this city does have the potential to do a little bit more growing. Um, it's got a bit of a food surplus, potentially. Okay. Range of most of these guys. May as well take the incendiaries promotion. And we'll build that there. We'll go into our next turn. You're taking a bit of damage, that's okay. We're going to get a crossbow. We're going to surround the capital here. Use it as a heal bomb. Uh, why don't you take the pillage move here? Oh, I did not mean to attack there. But it happened anyway. I left clicked thinking it was my own cavalry, my own knight, and I meant to left click to select it, but left clicking with a unit selected attacks for some ungodly reason that no one has ever been able to explain to me why they would make that the hot, like make that a thing when right clicking is clearly the way you attack. At least that's how I've always attacked, with right click. I've almost got my siege tower. Hold for a turn. And Pella, let's trade with... I'm actually going to not have you have a trader anymore because you're a trade destination. Nice. We're locking in these tiles. Okay, we're going to survive anyway. Knowledge of Gunpowder is advanced. You're actually ready for a promotion. So let's go ahead and take Reactive Armor. And then on you, we're going to take Route. Then if we... That hill will take all of our uh, movement points. So we'll attack there. We'll get you onto the hill. We'll get you closer to the fight. Get you closer to the fight. You're going to fortify there. Can't quite make it over there. You're going to move this way. You're going to move this way. You're going to move over here. 
Do a hole there for a turn, you're going to move there. Well, if I do this, I can slightly pack in more units. Excellent, so that gave us the boost towards gunpowder. And I want my commercial hub ideally finished. To get the gold increase. Alrighty, go ahead and get your industrial zone as well. Provide a, more of an incentive for cities to trade with you. Almost got my fourth promotion on this unit, which will mean two, two attacks a turn. Which is should be a significant boost to the amount of damage I can do. Then over here, we want to trade with... Alexandria? Wait a minute, what was that great person I earned? Trade routes to the city provide plus two gold for both cities. So if I trade with Alexandria... I should get plus four gold. Nope. I guess that one just doesn't work anymore. Alrighty. Oh, is that international trade routes? Ah, foreign trade routes. Ah, so that was the mistake I made. Oh, well. See? Even I misread things sometimes. Even I misread things all the time. Plenty of production coming in now. Production and gold will be a good focus here while the city is growth starved. Oh. Appears you guys have really taken a liking to my crossbowman. Man is a military animal. The day we stop ex it's, It really bothers me that you can't do long range swaps. So there is his encampment. It's got a catapults over. You can fortify here on the flanks. Alrighty. Uh, yes, bombards are definitely what I want next. To be able to take out these cities a little bit quicker. Right, we got our siege tower. We can start bringing them over. And uh, do I want the armor or do I want the commercial hub? I think we'll go for the commercial hub here. The gold has been servicing me well. We're going to go ahead and take Merchant Republic now. This should open up more options for me. In particular, veterancy would be quite nice here to be able to produce more uh, encampment district stuff. Uh, because I'm not, really building, I'm not really building units right now, so I might get rid of this just for a little bit of time. And instead I might go for like unit upgrades are cheaper. And uh, I think additionally, one good thing to take here might be gold from caravanseries. I think I could also go, for example, caravanseries could be good here. Pick up a bit of gold. Yeah, seems good. A little, little bit of cash. Not, not a huge amount. I mean, I don't have that many trade routes, but I will be able to get more. So, is Genghis Khan. So you need to move with these guys because I want to get that Niter up. I like to say I There's mysticism. mysticism, okay. So that was one of the envoys I picked up earlier. So the city is now officially surrounded. Now, this would be a major defeat, but it would completely eliminate the walls. We'll attack here. We'll heal for a turn on you. We'll do a bit more damage to the city before we go slamming into it really hard. Uh, Rio could use something. Plus three production 
industrial zone seems like a reasonable one to pick up. Uh, which will hopefully provide me with the ability to make enough uh, of these things and stuff like that to uh, to win the game. So I would like Hong Kong to be on my side as well. Since I'm starting to get some of these things up. Preslav, I think I'm going to hold on to my envoy until I need it. Alrighty. Excellent. Things seem to be looking up pretty good here. Expert marksman. So this unit now has two shots available to it. Move along here. And yeah, I think I want to chop there. That'll get that monument down. And most importantly, now that the city has growth potential, we can let it grow again. Excellent. We will pick up a trader. Move along like this. Like so. We'll go to the next turn. You'll be in position to get that knighter online. Oh, I lost a catapult. Wasn't expecting the knight out of nowhere. Not really a huge amount I can do about knights appearing. Oh, come on. Shoot the city a little bit. Yeah, I want to guard these if I can. Unfortunately, I lost a catapult, which is... No, not the end of the world, but I can build another one. I fully plan on it. Out of curiosity, when do I pick up nationalism? Not too far away until we're going to need to start building a lot more units to fill out my army. Uh, fill them out properly, that is. So another mine wouldn't be too terrible here. Looks like there's going to be a good industrial zone in this city as well. These are all great tiles. Absolutely fantastic. Let's trade with uh, Pella, perhaps. Yeah, we could use the trade route to Pella. Oh no, we already have a road there. Damn it. Whoops. There. There. Taking some shots. I will pillage here to get you the heal. No more have ex we can no more have exact pillage for the heal. You move here and shoot. Get up there. So I want you to pillage here. You guys are healing up. Excellent. You fortify there. You were supposed to take over this tile. I'll put you there instead. Now, I could pick up Naval Tradition for the extra Envoy. It's not a terrible move, as far as I can tell. Uh, or, I could start making my way up to something like Nationalism. I'm kind of tempted by Monarchy as a government, just for lots of cards. But I think, you know, Merchant Republic is a reasonable one, because it makes gold purchases cheaper. Any, any cards, I don't, don't really think there's any cards in particular that I super really hardcore need. I have basically all the cards I need to wage war. Really, it's just about getting to nationalism for the uh, ability to expand my power. But I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go for diplomatic service to be able to get spies. So diplo service into nationalism. And I'm going to be using those spies. I should be getting to the point where I'm ahead in technology here soon. Yeah, she's still kind of doing really well. But I'm starting to outstrip. I'm, started, I'm becoming unstoppable, essentially. To the point where we've already won the game, in some sense. Okay, so if I pick up the lighthouse, that'll give me some housing, it'll give me some food, it'll give me some gold. So I will do that. Have we got a what over here? Uh, go ahead and start on your granary. You will need that eventually. You'll be able to attack next turn. You hold there. Keep coming along. And you have one more build charge. Right there would be the place to put it. Go here. Go here. Next turn, you will be able to do much more. Huh. Was not expecting this. 
insta-kill. I'm losing units kind of pretty quickly actually. After 57 combat strength because there's a knight in it, which is very, very difficult for me to break. Soon I'll have metal casting though. I'm going to work on some more of these bombards. Granary completed, so you should grow a little bit. Plus two food is a very, very slow growth rate, however. Especially because you're displeased. Uh, may as well grab the workshop. The stalemate attack. Stalemate attack. We should be able to take the city next turn. And build a mine. We will settle here so that we can get this nighter online. You can become a musketman. You can become a musketman as well. We can bring this knight to the front line. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, you may as well just do like a granary. It's probably not going to be much I will do with this city. We'll go into our next turn. Refuse deal. The question is, do we kill the knight or do we kill the city? I think we probably kill the city and then the knight. Apologies, I'll look elsewhere. He's complaining about me settling for the nighter. Yeah, that's just that's my own business. So, uh, let's clean this up. I'm trying to I'm trying to take like a I'm trying to take a civilization, <laughs> kill a civilization every episode. Be a good challenge. Lots of boosts and lots of healing from taking all those wonders. You're ready for promotion. So are you. All right, excellent. So we'll call that an end to this episode. I probably will take two more cities, perhaps. Uh, maybe I'll see if she'll piece me out for those two cities, actually, right here before we end this episode. So how much would you give me? You won't give me Namadal. You won't give me Nuri. You won't give me Napata. I could piece out here. But I think I'm going to take at least maybe one more city. Might take these two. Just to severely break her and make sure that she can't come back into the game. But yeah, I'm going to call that an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.